Hey Banter Ground Music here, hope you're having a happy Thanksgiving. As promised, um, here is the second and final part of our attempt to make a square house bass. And here's what our final sound will be. Okay, let's revert to where we were at the end of last week's tutorial. If you remember, we were here. Just a note to say that my Black Friday sale has started, so if you want to support the channel and pick up some pretty good Avenger sound sets, then you have that opportunity. Okay, so let's start to add the embellishments that would take us to our final sound. First of all, I did get a comment last week on my YouTube page that mentioned that this sound could be potentially a bit muddy. I'd want to leave the mixing to you, but I would suggest that you employ an equalizer and you would want to make a slight cut in between 200 and 500 something like this and that should deal with some of the mode you might be experiencing anyway that's up to you let's take our first step by adding an effect let's add a vintage chorus let's take the mix down here to about 14 or 15 let's add a compressor to it just um, a good starting preset will do a good threshold a touch You can hear that with the chorus and the compressor sounds slightly more beefy. Okay, just to be tidy, I'm going to rename the oscillator where? So. I'm going to nip into the voicing tab on the saw. I'm going to turn an extra voice on. I'm going to add a fifth note, seven semitones. I'm going to take that volume all the way down. I'm going to just initiate a macro button. This just makes it more tidy and more clear. Click and drag the six dots over to the volume button. Click the yellow triangle and drag all the way up. That's the range of the macro button. I'm going to rename this fifth volume. I'm going to take it up to about three quarters of the way, 75% or so. Now it sounds like this. You can hear that nice fifth note in there now. Taking the delay down to 10%. It's just getting in the way a little bit. Going to now add a third oscillator. I'm going to call this click. I'm going to go into my special samples and choose attack click three. I'm going to leave the oscillator as it is here. That's fine. But I'm going to add reverb and a little bit of delay to it. About 20, and take the delay all the way down. I'm going to give it its own amp envelope. Amp envelope 2. And it's going to be very similar to amp envelope 1, so I'm going to right click and copy that amp envelope, and then paste it onto amp envelope 2, and then give it a bit of a 20% spike and this just accentuates the attack a little bit. At the moment, it's going through filter envelope one. I'm going to give it its own filter envelope, very similar to filter envelope one. So I'll right click and copy, click, right click and paste. And I'm going to turn it up to make sure the high frequencies are getting through. Click and choose filter envelope two. And now we have this. nice punchy attack there. Again, I'm going to make a macro button for the volume of this attack. I'm going to take the volume all the way down first. Click and drag the six dots. Release. Click on the yellow triangle all the way up, full volume. And I'm going to call this macro click volume. Then move it to about 30%. The macro buttons are actually controllable from my MIDI keyboard, which makes it more convenient. And now I'm going to add a final oscillator. I'm going to call this Dirt. And this is going to add some grit to the sound, make it a little bit more dirty. I'm going to search for noise in wavetables, noise, sharp or wobble. Okay, for the Dirt oscillator, it's pretty much okay the way it is. I'm going to add a touch of reverb. 
This is the wavetable screen here. I'm going to make sure that this is enabled. This button here. I'm going to turn the speed up so it traverses the whole wavetable quickly. Then I'm going to give it its own amp and filter envelope. So here are the settings for amp 3. Volume sensitivity down. A little bit of spike, a little bit of an attack. Decay up slightly. And its own filter envelope. Velocity sensitivity all the way down. Cut off to about 560 or thereabouts. 20% uh, resonance. A little bit of drive. Envelope modulation. About 50%. I'm going to stick with the next LP24. Just make sure it goes there. Amp envelope 3. And filter 3. Changing this from loop to one shot. And that gives you this sound soloed. You can hear that gives you just a quick burst of dirt or grit at the beginning of the bass. Again, I'm taking the volume down for you. I'm tying it to a macro so you can mix it in. Take the volume all the way up. I'm calling the macro grit level. Okay, I'm choosing to dial in about 10%. It sounds like this. If you want it to totally clean, you could take it all the way out. It's completely up to you. Okay, so that's our final sound. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I'm going to make it available as a free download from my website. Link in the description. If you want to see more Avenger tutorials and free Avenger presets in the future, hit the like button and click subscribe. Until next time, stay well. Cheers.